Right, Mr. Holloway, first things first, um, before we talk about Fight Island and fights and UFC 251 and uh, the title fight with Alex Volkanovsky, I just want to pay you a bit of a compliment. Um, because with us all being in lockdown, a lot of people are searching for content on the internet. And I came across your YouTube channel, mate. <laughs> you like mate, it? it's, it's unbelievable. I don't even know which bit I like the most. I got into it from just watching um, the all Maxess stuff, obviously, through yeah. because you bringing us closer to fight nights and stuff. Then I yeah. started watching the food stuff. Then I started I watching. the food stuff, huh? The, I yeah, think the food I, stuff personally is my favorite. The other, what were you eating the other day? The donut chicken thing. I was like, that can't be a real thing. That's that only happens over your side of the world. That wouldn't happen over my side of the world, man. That's, yeah. that's just crazy. America. <laughs> what did it taste like? Uh, did you ever have a Krispy Kreme donut? Yeah. A Krispy Kreme donut with a piece of chicken fillet in the middle. <laughs> uh, that's what it tastes. It was like. Oh, my God. It, what, what Minnie said, he wished he had my mouth so he could take bigger bites. 100%. That thing was, like, finger licking good. You saw me with my fingers. I did it. Yeah, man. Are you enjoying that aspect of stuff, creating content and just having a heap of fun, whether it's out hiking or whether it's doing the food stuff or whatever? I'm loving it. You know, I'm loving, um, I'm loving the food stuff. I'm loving, like, re-found my love for for video games again and uh yeah. hiker hiker holloway is fun you know don't miss the hiker holloway that's dropping this week i was hiking i was hiking to my bed treacherous bed hike in this 48 hour quarantine it was crazy i mean i found new species and everything in my room so it's great times i was gonna say as quarantine now finished for you that you're allowed to do interviews with us what, what's that whole process been like because i know that you have to do it in america you've had to do it in abu dhabi that could take a big mental strain on someone that's preparing for a fight for the weekend. Uh, no mental strain at all. You know, the, the the thing that we was worried about not being able to work out, but you got to adapt. Uh, mm -hmm. We found a way to work out. And um, I mean, it was good. It was good. You know, this whole time, the only thing that made me realize is like, I need to bring a gaming laptop or my PS4 or something. I should have bring something so I could have got my things off. But at the end of the day, it is what it is. It was good. You know, I was uh, I was really only by myself in uh, in Vegas. Here, I, here mm. I, they, they made me room in my coat so and one of my training partners so we could train in our rooms still yet. So uh, it, we may do, you know. This is this is uh, mixed martial arts. It's all about adapting. You got to adapt in fighting and also in life. So we, we came here and we adapt. Did you, did you take yourself a games console? To Abu Dhabi, are people hitting you up? The game attack? Oh man, I did not. I'm I'm, I'm sad. Um, one of one of the UFC workers that we close with, one of the you, he, the guys from Hawaii, he got his PS4, but he was quarantined. So I was like, guy, like you should let me have the PS4 because I need to focus more than you need to focus. What are you of doing? Just asking questions all day. Come on. Maybe maybe you should then have uh, maybe tried to. Make him eat the whole bowl of wasabi. Maybe then he'll be a little bit more oh, generous yeah. with you. <laughs> no, I, almost got, I almost got my boy to do it. Oh, he looked at it. I, I wish he did look at it. That would have been, been great content right there. <laughs> um, one thing as well that you've always let us in on when you're, when you're doing the all access stuff for, for five weeks is that you always have a fresh fed. You always get a fresh fed on, after, after the weigh-ins. What's the situation yeah. this week? Because, because the do is looking good. I'm, I'm dead. You guys, first fade, Max. See you later. Give him a shocker because uh, now you guys might see my hair actually get longer. No, so I, I, I've been loving this hairdo. I've been loving it. Uh, I've been getting nothing but love for it. I think it broke the internet when people finally saw <laughs> saw my hair. So I, I'm keeping it for the next half of my uh, of my UFC career. Cool, man. Let's get on to fights. Let's get on to the preparation for this at the weekend. Firstly, on time zones, because you're fighting in the early hours of, of the morning local time. So uh -huh. how's that? Are you staying on American time for sleep patterns and stuff? Uh, yeah, we've been staying on American time. We've been adjusting. I think so. We might make the walk around 8 o'clock, fight around 8.30, around that time, a.m. over here. So yeah. we've been adjusting. So you know, I think the hairdo is just in time. You know, I, I feel like a vampire. Call me Max Dracula. So it's awesome. That that doesn't um, worry you at all, though. Fighting, fighting before breakfast time for the majority of people. 
Not at all. I've been I've been eating dinner for breakfast and breakfast for dinner lately. So that's the yeah, that's yeah. a real American way to be honest. So life's good. Uh, um, I, I'm not worried about it. We're figuring out. Like I said, we're adapting. You know, I got one. I got some of the best minds in um, in all of UFC with my coaches and stuff. And we sat down the first day we did. We planned it out. This time, this this when I need to be sleeping. This when I need to be waking up. This when I need to be eating my meals. So uh, I'm super excited. Um, from the first fight that happened in Las Vegas, what are your what are your takeaways from that now that the dust has settled on that fight? What are the things that you bring away from that that you've learned? Um, like I said, you know, like you said right there, that's the key word, learn. I learned a lot from that fight, learned a lot from watching it, and um, my advice is you don't want to miss it. This weekend, if wherever you are in the world, if you got if you want somebody to come in and actually be a fan, get a new fan in mixed martial arts, make them turn in and watch this fight because it's it's going to be something special. Is your hotel on the uh, on the Abu Dhabi racetrack? I can hear the cars yes, going it is. crazy. Yeah, <laughs> I, I thought you could hear. Once you could hear, it is. It's right behind us. And uh, I think so they open only from, what time is it? I think so they open like six, from 6 yeah. to 10 something. So what a, what a time to make interviews because all my interviews <laughs> are right now. <laughs> Off the back of... Um, the 245 fight in uh, in December last year, Max. Was there ever a thought that you would leave the 145-pound division behind and maybe try it at 155, or were you always adamant at staying at 145? Um, you know, we t- I, those those questions, I always sit down. We talk to our team after we debrief. We talk to the UFC, whatever they want to do. You know, if if it's me to stay at 45, then it's me to stay at 45. And then when when I feel like my body is ready to go up to 55, then, then maybe we'll go up, you know, and... Uh, I just I'm just ready for whatever. If if I mean the 55 contenders is looking real real crazy right now and yeah. that all, a lot of those fights potential fights excite me, you know, and then there's a bunch of fights at 45 that excite me too. So we just got to sit down, you know, focus focus on what's right now, this fight in the weekend and then uh, we'll go from there. I saw you talking about um the preparations and obviously everything's been a very different recently with the pandemic, not being able to spar and what have you. Um, how has that worked out? Seeing your coaches only o- over uh, a Zoom um, yeah. link in order to uh, to get ready for this monster fight the weekend. I think so. Uh, you know, it, it was good. You know, it was good for my mental. It was good for uh, my physical. I feel I feel just recharged, man. You know, um, the daily grind can really get to you and. And sometimes you get lost in that daily grind where you feel like, oh, I need to do this class. I need to do that. And now I was actually forced to to rest, you know, do the certain class at certain times. And then I got to rest, you know, instead of doing more and wanting more. And um, and I feel real good. I feel real good, man. This, this weekend, I do, not, do not miss it. It's really going to be something special. And um, I can't wait. Mm. Well, have you managed to catch up on any of the things that Alex has said? about you since since the fight or not i mean not really i mean i did an interview earlier uh, earlier this morning and uh he was telling me that he's calling me salty or something and uh, that's about it and i just kind of blew me away because i don't know how i'm salty i guess i guess i have an opinion makes one salty and then um even like uh I, I have no I have no idea what he's talking about because at the end of the day he asked for this fight I wasn't campaigning for nothing he campaigned for it he asked for it and and uh, that's just the way it is so he was I I hear him yapping anything and then he always finished with uh I like him he's a good guy but you know it just sounds like a guy on the fence you know you either you either don't like him or you you either gonna talk talk crap to me or not you know what I mean John, choose choose a side of the fence my man with the uh, with the fight the weekend. You've just said that. Make tune in. Make sure you tune in. This person that studied your career for a long period of time, that you're going to start quite fast. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, just just tune in. I'm not going to say much, but just watch because it's going to be. You, you're not going to want to miss it. You're not going to want to miss it. If you're missing it, you're going to see Twitter explode and go crazy, and you're going to feel like you missed out on something big. And I promise it will. It will be something big, and uh, I just can't wait. What does uh, the rest of the week now look like for you with the quarantine done? Obviously, you got this weird virtual media day and, and what yeah. have you. How 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 are you sorting your time out now before you make that walk? Uh, we got media day today, live it tomorrow, 
Um, we got the weight cut the day after that, weigh-ins, and it's, and it's go time, you know. Um, a couple more training, a couple more sleeps. So maybe after this media day, I might take a nap. But uh, at the end of the day, it's just same old, man. We stuck in this, we stuck in the room. It's like, yeah. we're off of quarantine, but I kind of stood on quarantine because everything else is closed during the time I'm supposed to be awake. So, uh, you know, it's a rough life out here, but I, I ain't complaining. Are, are the facilities all there for you, for example? To help you with the weight cut and to train and to and to do the things that you would normally do, or is everything there for you? Oh yes, for sure. There's the, cool. every precaution that the UFC took uh, is it, super good, super smart. From you know, from the quarantine to the testing, uh, I like it. Um, we we actually, I actually like it now. We actually have our own workout room. I mean, if they could do or have our own workout room all the time, that'd be that'd be great. But uh, sure. yeah, you know, so it's uh, it's super cool right now. And talk to me about the uh, just the idea of fighting on Fire Island. It's like Enter the Dragon became real all of a sudden. Oh yeah, Motor Combat. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, this is Motor Combat. This is the tournament, you know, Survival of the Fittest. Um, you know, I gave my goodbyes to Mini Bless and my girl, and I told them, you know, if I come back, I come back. I don't know. This is we we're we're fighting on this island. I don't know what's gonna happen. We had no idea what was, you know. They just told us fight island, get on a plane, take a couple of tests, and here we are. So, you know, all jokes aside. Um, I'm excited, man. This is this is this is history in the making, you know. Yeah. All sports is at at a standstill right now. USC is still doing their thing. Um, this supposed to be like International Fight Week, and uh, it's just it's just huge. July 11 been a real good day to UFC in the past, so big and big cards. So I'm just excited, you know. This is gonna be a uh, it's gonna be in the history books. I think as well with the with the limited amount of preparation that people can have, we're going to see the difference between athletes who are fighters and fighters who have gone on to become athletes. There's a difference there, isn't there? You know what I mean? The real fighters are going to come out on fire yeah. on Saturday night. Yeah, big difference. Like what I said, you know, I told everybody, a lot of people, you know, a lot of people ask me what this and that. And I told them, I told everyone, we're going to find out who the real fighters is now in these in these in this pandemic times the guys who who fight you know the guys like dustin poor you know we're gonna find out who is who's the real fighters you know and and who's the guys who just do it to do it and who's the guy and who's the guys who's you know born they just got something else in them so it's exciting mm-hmm. times just finally max um on the main event just want to get your thoughts on that obviously it's changed now it's usman versus masvidal masvidal coming in last minute Talk to me about the mentality of coming in last minute for a fight of that magnitude uh, and how you think it'll maybe play out. You know, it takes me back to a time when I almost was able to do that, you know, on, on a yeah. six days, notice, five days notice. And, uh, you know, I think, I think he just, you want to talk about fighter? This man is a fighter. Or he's a fighter. You know, he comes to fight. Dude was fighting in backyards for whatever it was. He had his biggest fight. I, I I saw the story. He had his biggest backyard fight. He was in the line of McDonald's and they called him and he's like, "Hey, get to the backyard. Let's do this." And that that guy was like the prodigy of freaking uh, what's his name, Kimball or something. Kimball, yeah. So, so it was uh, it was just insane, you know. I I I, I you know, good for good for uh, him, Jorge. It's gonna be. I think it'll be a cool fight, you know. And especially with Usman looking unstoppable, I I think so. We was in that same thing with Khabib, so. At the end of the day, uh, as a fight fan, how are you not excited for this? How are you not excited for this? This, like, Jorge is gonna come to fight, and that's why I respect about him. He's a he's a he's a real fighter, man. He's a like these guys talk about fighting, like how like how some people said, you know, when they put their name in the hat. Some people just put their name in the hat to put their name in the hat. You know, this guy really he he, he put his name in the hat, and he because he really wants. He probably put his name hundred times. Who knows? As a type <laughs> of guy, Listen, Max, it's always a pleasure speaking to you, man. You look well. Thanks. It's great to see you like this. And good luck at the Thanks. weekend, man. I'm looking forward to seeing you doing things. Take care. Uh, good seeing you, man. All the best. Talk, man. Take care, buddy. Take care.